Deep inside of the sun is the innermost layer, the core, which is a gigantic nuclear factory 195,000 miles thick. That's the equivalent of driving from New York to Los Angeles 70 times. In this most mysterious layer, the crushing pressure feels 150 times stronger than being deep underwater. Pressure and density are so great in the core that hydrogen atoms smash into each other, combining to form helium. Now atoms become highly unstable and release nuclear energy to become stable once again. We call this process nuclear fusion, and it's the very process that keeps the sun and all stars alive. Every single bit of energy that leaves the sun and reaches Earth originated from the core. The core is the sun's hottest layer. How hot? 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to instantly melt lead, iron, brass, or any other metal. Just above the core lies the radiative zone. Now the nuclear energy generated in the sun's core travels through the radiative zone in the form of electromagnetic radiation, better known as light. Its density slightly decreases, but is still tremendous. The radiative zone is 186,000 miles across. And ironically, this is how far light can travel in one second. However, the radiative zone is still so dense that photons of light bounce around like a pinball machine. In fact, light takes around 100,000 years just to make its way through the radiative zone of the sun. Finally, we reach the convection zone, which spans for around 124,000 miles. Now density finally becomes low enough for light traveling out of the core to transform into heat. And just like this layer's name, the process of convection kicks in. Simply put, convection means hotter materials will rise, cooler materials sink. And as the heat from the bottom of the convection zone rises, it gradually cools, sinking back down again. This continual process happens in gigantic bubbles known as convection cells. Convection is also the same process that causes the big bubbles in a boiling pot of water. Well, there you have it. Now you know a little bit about each of the sun's inner layers. If you didn't see our video about the sun's outer layers, be sure to check it out now. We love space and we love making videos, so please help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing below.